my first question is, uh, what can we say when a painting is sold for the exact price of the estimate? Well, the um, estimate, as you know, we said in excess of 80. So we were expecting around, um, you know, the hammer price that we got. Mm -hmm. uh, we had two bidders, as you saw. So, yes. yeah, it all makes sense. I feel, you know, this was the most expensive painting that I've ever estimated at Sotheby's in, in my 30-some years. You know, we've never estimated a picture at, at close to that level. So, yeah, I think it it did exactly what I thought and what I what I hoped. Obviously, one always knows that auction can be stronger or or weaker, but yeah, I feel like we hit it right on the head. And only two bidders, isn't it a problem? A lot of person told me that. In fact, recently I saw a, a lot of auction with only two bidders, but what do you say about only two bidders? I, I think that's a, a sort of an odd comment, to be honest with you. In old masters, our market tends to be very methodical which is a very good thing. There's a logic and a very, you know, a very methodical collecting group. And people who, um, you know, bid on old masters, sometimes, very often, we only have two bidders, you know, maybe three, four. We don't have, like, contemporary 15, 20 bidders. Um, you know, that that's extremely rare. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I don't think it's a problem at all. It made the price. It's the world... Uh, record, but it's a record for us at Sotheby's for any old master we've ever sold. So, yeah. But in fact, this painting could be appealing to many contemporary uh, or modern collectors, as yeah. as uh, there's a system of kind of collage and also there's this geometric background, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, of course, and we we had lots of those people looking and thinking about it, and you know. Uh, yeah, for sure. What about the medallion? The medallion. Some people mm -hmm. were surprised that the medallion came from Siena. Well, the medallion is the main focus of the scholarly discussion. As you know, if you read the catalog, it's yes. uh, very, very firmly <clears throat> strong opinions um, in a very polite field, quite strong. Um, you know, uh, people, some people say it's absolutely, you know, exactly what they expect, etc. Other people don't quite understand it. So I, I think that um, for myself, I see that it really is probably the way it was, was conceived. I think we have, we get too didactic when we decide 500 years later what um, a person like Botticelli would have done or could have done or should have done. Um, we know that there were paintings by Bartolomeo Bugarini in Florence at this time. You know, there was an altarpiece in Santa Croce. Uh, it could have come from that, let's say, that there are parts of that that are still in Florence, but not the, you know, not the entire complex as far as I'm aware. So I, I don't think it's that unusual. And we know that even people like um, Lorenzo de Medici was collecting paintings, uh, gold grounds. You know, they, they, were, they were idolizing also their, their, their artistic ancestors. So someone, if, if he could have thought this was, the, you know, Botticelli could have thought this was by Giotto, let's say, you know. Um, I don't know that they would have understood the difference between a Sienese and a Florentine Quechain for painting, necessarily. Uh, so, yeah. And it's part of the enigma of the painting, which I think only makes it more interesting <laughs> in myself, if I have to be honest with you. And um, for 23 years, it was exhibited at uh, the National Gallery in Washington under the name of Botticelli. Mm -hmm. like, uh, well, I, I, I can't remember the exact number of years. It was at the Met, then yeah. it was at the National Gallery, then it was at the Met, always as Botticelli. Yes. Okay. And uh, do we have any chance to see, uh, to see the painting in a public space? I, I think, you know, the new owners, um, you know, could conceivably lend it, uh, continue to lend it, etc. Yeah. I, I don't know for sure. That's their decision. And it's obviously just happened last week. So I think they're very excited about their purchase. And, you know, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, I think there's a chance. 
in what part of the world, if I dare? <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't comment, as you know. 